click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, what's your with another fantastic chemistry video and today I'm going to talk about drawing resonance forms for reactive intermediates. This is a benzylic free radical. So we've done resonance forms in the past with carbocations and carbanions. Um, we've even done them on the benzylic ones. We just didn't say what they were. We just did resonance. Now we're going to start doing resonance of free radicals. Now, free radicals are single electrons, and so we're going to have to move the electron as a single electron. And that means we have to use what are called fish hook arrows. Normal arrows are double headed. This means two electrons are moving. Free radicals require that you use what are known as fish hook arrows. Fish hook arrows mean only one electron is moving. So the number the arrow head indicates the number of electrons in that arrow. Fish hook arrow, one electron, double headed arrow, two electrons. That's how it works. So starting from here, one electron from here, or that electron that was right there. Let me fill it, let me just fix that. Yeah, I won't, I won't obliterate my electron. There we go. Goes to the bond. One electron from the pi bond goes to make a bond, and the other electron goes to the carbon. So what's happening here? One electron, the free radical, comes to make a bond here between the carbon and the carbon. One electron from the pi bond goes to meet it. So now we're forming a pi bond right here. So this, these two arrows right here are forming a pi bond between this carbon and that one, putting an electron on here. There we go. All right, now, don't stop here. We can keep on going, right? Because basically we have the same setup here as we did here. A pi bond adjacent to a radical. Pi bond adjacent to a radical. Same idea. So do it again. So here, the radical is going to form a pi bond between these two carbons. One of the, the electrons from this pi bond is going to meet it to form the pi bond here. And the third electron, the second electron that's in this bond, is going to go here. And that's going to make a pi bond right here and put a radical here. Okay, let's keep moving. We're on a roll. No sense stopping now, boy. Here we go. Same thing. Same thing. Now notice the arrows. Two arrows form a bond. One arrow goes to give a single electron. Same thing here. Two arrows forming a bond. One arrow going to make a single electron. Two arrows are forming a bond. One arrow goes to making the single electron. It's the same thing over and over again. Same game, different players. All right, here we go. Keep on trucking. Let me do a little better on that one. There we go. There we go. I made the arrows kind of funny just to make them fit the drawing better. The same thing's happening. Two electrons are coming together to make a bond, and the third one goes to make the radical. There we go. Now here, we've put the radical back out on the benzylic carbon. So now we're done. This is We've finished all the resonance forms. So now we know that there's electron density on this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon. Okay, And that's helping to stabilize the free radical. That's why benzylic radicals are not as reactive. They're more stable. They form pretty fast, but they're stable. They react a little slow. They form fast, react slow. Of course, they are reactive. They do react. They do do lots of interesting chemistry. But this is one of the reasons why they're more stable than, say, a allylic or even a tertiary free radical.
Now with that, guys, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, go ahead and slap that like button. It really does help YouTube's algorithm discover my videos so that other people maybe who are struggling in chemistry just like you are can get some help with organic chemistry. If you could, please leave a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing in organic chemistry. Tell me the problems that you're working on. Maybe I can make a video just for you. And if you could, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help small creators like me when people subscribe. It also keeps me very motivated to keep making more videos for you guys. Now, with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbetts at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.